Hi, uh, Finch here again on the allotment plot again today. It's not rained yet, so it's very dry. What I'm going to talk to you today about is your potatoes and how to have a look at them, make sure they're all right. First thing you need to do is earth them up, which is an easy job, it just means doing this. So they're all sitting in a nice little mound of soil. The reason we do this is one to kill off all the weeds that like to grow in the trenches and ditches in between the potatoes and two, we want to make sure that all the tubers are covered with a good layer of soil. The good layer of soil will keep the sunlight out and stop them from growing green and bitter. Now these potatoes are doing quite well. They're a good colour. Always watch the colour. They're a little bit yellow. You know they want nitrogen. Um, in a minute, they look really good. No dead leaves. No pest damage. I'm quite happy. They're not as big as rhubarb bronze next door, but he put his in earlier than mine, and he's got hit by frost, so they'll be a little bit weaker. But these were just put in about perfect, so they're doing well. If they form little tomatoes, or tomato-like fruits, on the potato itself, pinch them off. You don't really want it to go to fruit, and you can't really grow them from seed. You can, but it's a thankless job. So these are our potatoes at the minute. Nice ridges, nice and clean, got rid of all the weeds, so the potatoes can do as good as they can. These are another sort of potato. These are pink fur apple. Now, these are going to race nowhere. They're quite slow. They footle along at their own rate, and you dig them up right at the end of the season, when the plants are absolutely enormous. But the potatoes they produce are some of the best salad potatoes I've ever tasted. So if you get a chance, you go around the nursery or see a catalogue somewhere, look for pink fur apple. They're knobbly looking things, but they're doing very well at the moment. One thing I've noticed though is our onions aren't doing so well. These onions, over here, some of them are bolting. And if you turn around and look at Rocket Runs, Rhubarb Runs next door, you can see he's had no end of his onion salt. That's the hot dry weather. Unfortunately, you can eat them, but they don't keep very well once they're bolted. So they're no good for storing over winter. That's going to be a big problem in the shops this year. A lot of our onions are just not going to keep. However, if we have some rain this week, we can still rescue quite a bit of the crop. The only one nice thing about it is the evil onions look very sick and dying. I might have to tell she who must be obeyed, but we haven't got any garlic this year. Wouldn't that be nice? <gasps> oh, heaven. Unfortunately, they usually survive. Anyway, that's me today. A little bit of potatoes down the plot. Turn left at the rhubarb if you want to find me. And stay safe and keep growing. Goodbye.